Hello and welcome back to Dating Dads. Hello. Hello. Welcome. We're gonna date some dads. We are currently out because our daughter Amanda has friends home. Yeah, we... Emily is gonna go and watch some sports. Yeah, because I'm too uncool to be home. Oh, the sad life painfully of a dad. uncool. Painfully. I am. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I will meet a cute dad. Yes. Mm. Cute dad. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. Oh no. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Oh no. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Mm. Any game, really. Mm. In the distance. Could it be? A big, burned-out neon sign hangs above Tiny Drive Bar. Ooh. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. Ooh. The bar is smart and dim small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? Oh. One beer, please. Mm. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice-cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? <laughs> I'm Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, mm. which is always a good thing. Yeah. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I slightly cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. <laughs> Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for the team is all in good fun. Oh. Oh. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Mm. Hey, sailor. Oh. Oh, hello. Mm. Good to see some fresh meat in here. Oh, fresh meat? I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm M, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Mm. Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. I love how they also are like, my preferred team, without like, saying a real team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to not offend anyone. <laughs> hey. Oh, I love that team. And I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Oh, oh, oh. my god. <laughs> around balls. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, ah. buy a gal a drink. Oh. Don't buy Mary a drink. I don't want to buy her a drink. No, don't buy her a drink if no. you don't want to. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. Mm. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. She just wants free drinks. Yeah. I, have I mean, it's smart. No! If I was confident enough, I would do that. I would not. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. It's like mm. they're just genuinely describing any sport. <laughs> yeah. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the <laughs> other team, putting them in the lead, I heard an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Oh. <gasps> Go team. It's all... Oh! It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Oh, of shit. course he's sipping whiskey. Yeah, he's whiskey man. Look we at can his sexy, dark... It shows that he's mysterious. a whiskey drinker. Yeah. Enjoying the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how, what does he sound like? I don't know. He sounds... Um... <laughs> he has to have like a... Cool voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe he a bit like raspy a... since he's drinking oh. whiskey. Oh, oh. Never... <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I am now that we are winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. Oh. 
In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. Mm. That's where really you're wrong. Since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. Mm. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us, based on mutual love for the game. He mm. motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides oh. one over to me. Ooh. Ooh, sexy man gives you a drink. Uh, my name, the name is Robert. Robert? Thanks, I'm M. Oh, he sounded like that! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll, ne you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Aye. No, that'd be <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Why name it Jim and Kim then? Oh. Neil weighs from across the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in the world. Okay. Mm. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer. But I'll drink most things. Mm. You like shots? Oh my god, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I love shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he, he likes you. Yeah. Thank god. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. Okay, no, mm. I don't want whiskey. No, you have to drink it now. <laughs> he hands one to me. Oh. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try mm. my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Em, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. <laughs> uh... Oh. Compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Compliment his hand tattoo. Ooh. Ooh, ooh yeah, he has a little thing on his hand. Oh, what's that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, his hand. Oh. I like your tattoo. What does it mean? Oh, no. no! Oh, no. He's sad now. Oh, no. Look what you did. <laughs> it's a reminder. I'm not it's good a at sad conversation. reminder. I'm not oh. good at conversation. <laughs> You're so bad at flirting with guys! I know! <laughs> I wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Yeah, he's cooler than you. Way cooler than I am, at least! <laughs> <laughs> Robert signals to the bartender oh. for another round. Okay, he still oh. wants a drink with me. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of my house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. My daughter kicked me out. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Mm. Family type, huh? Oh, I wonder what his kid looks like. Mm. Single dad. Mm. <clears throat> he gets up. Oh no, oh. he's offended now. He's leaving. Oh. Oh. Be right back. I got a powder in my nose. This is this is now that he leaves and just leaves us with the bill for the drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ooh. Huh. I guess so. It doesn't seem like it. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Ooh. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. Uh. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna go home. You heard him my way. Maybe I don't want to go home. Oh. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Oh. Mm. I live in this cul-de-sac down this way. Or that way. Does everybody live there? Yes. Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Mm. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. <laughs> I bet he doesn't like Joseph and Joseph's kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? 
We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. Mm. <laughs> I don't kiss and tell him. Uh. Oh! <laughs> so are oh we, my god! Are we doing this or what? What? Straight to the point? He wants to bang! What? <laughs> you know, you wanna come inside or not? I don't think I'm ready for this. You're not ready? <laughs> A wave of realization rushes over me. I oh! blush. Uh, lay it on smooth, smile and nod. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Oh, but this can end so bad! Oh, Why can it end bad? Oh, but because what if I don't <laughs> want him later and I'm gonna I'm gonna crush him? Ugh. Oh. What if he gets oh, super sad? Oh, what are we gonna do, Olive? No, it's your choice! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, should I just should I should I just be like the biggest player in town and uh, just romance all the boys? Ooh, ooh, a smile and nod. Oh, are you gonna? Are you a smile gonna? and nod. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, I don't feel good about this. Oh, oh my god! I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment oh. the door closes behind us, he pushes me up the walls and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Oh my oh. god! Oh. <laughs> I want to go home again. <laughs> You're not ready. You're not ready for Robert. <laughs> I'm not. Come on. <laughs> Robert takes my oh. hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. <laughs> oh. He kisses me again and I can hear him sh shucking off his jacket. <laughs> I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest and suddenly he's tugging <laughs> at my belt. I, I, uh, I don't normally do this. Oh. Do you want to stop? Oh no, oh. don't give me a choice again! You have <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my oh. god! Oh! I mean, right now I'm kind of panicking, I want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should stop then! Oh yes, yes, I want to stop. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna disappoint Robert so much. Maybe I just... Oh no! Oh, what are you gonna pick? Okay, yes, yes. Actually, I should probably get going. Oh, oh my god! Oh, is he gonna be sad now? Oh. Robert steps back. Alright. I think I'm gonna head home. Sorry. Oh. Nah, it's cold. Oh! Oh, that was hard! <laughs> <laughs> I head home. My head's still spinning with the anxiety of turning Robert down. Yes! The sight of the couch helps me compartmentalized though and before i know it i'm having dreams about my teeth falling out oh wow the good mm, kind of dream <laughs> the best first day in town <laughs> 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 i wake up to a text from an unknown number oh oh craig oh oh it's the bro yeah. rise and shine early bird you want to work out this is craig by the way oh my god oh i'm still kind of panicking no, but it's Craig! Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, it's my bro. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? <laughs> Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Oh no! Oh! Whoops, must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud! Still wanna get s your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up! Oh, I wanna go out with Craig! God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Oh. Go to the gym. Oh, are you? <laughs> yes, I want to hang out with Craig. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. Mm. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing, meet me at the gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Oh. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. Oh. Is it gonna be my uh, polka dot uh, sweatpants and burgundy yes. shirt? Yes. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with 
do. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves into the enthusiastically. Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Good morning. I mean, most realistically, I should I should romance Craig because he's the one that looks mostly like you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna romance me, uh, bro? Bro, good morning, bro. Hey, good to see you, man. We yeah, can yeah, just yeah. be like bros in love. Oh yeah, we can be bros in love. I'm definitely not as pumped up as dude, he is, dude. If I could look a little bit like Craig, yeah, I would just do it. <laughs> I would just be a, a Craig. <laughs> Craig is just goals right now. <laughs> yeah, Craig is goals. <laughs> Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Mm -hmm. You ready to kick some butt? Help! <laughs> <laughs> help. With your help, I am. Ooh, are you flirting with Craig? I get the feeling this is going to be less of me kicking butt and more the gym kicking my butt. Ah, yeah. But I can handle it with you here. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> dude, bro. That means a lot. Oh, look oh. at how happy he is. Yeah. Hey. Oh. We head into the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Mm. He high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. <laughs> Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Yes. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. Yeah. So, I know we are on treadmills. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and those over there are ellipticals. Hmm. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughs. Bro. They might look a little crazy, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. <laughs> what is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? <laughs> That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Train to crush people's skulls with its thighs. <laughs> Using a medieval torture device, praying to some sort of pain god. Train oh. to crush people's skulls with his thighs. Yes. He's he's trying to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls with them. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason <laughs> I work out. <laughs> oh no. Oh! oh. Was that eggplants? The eggplants! <laughs> Craig, is, Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. Oh no. How uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple of years. And what do you do when you're not dadding and or working or buffing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Mm -hmm. huh. Ah. I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I love learning. I try to live my life as close to Jimmy Buffett's song as possible. <laughs> I check out my hot bod. Oh, wow. No, uh, I love learning. Mm. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge, soaking up all the intellectual content. You know, history, the paranormal, windowless survival, uh, aliens. Ah. Mostly th those things. I mean, it's kind of accurate. Yeah. You should see my YouTube search history. <laughs> yeah, oh, true. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the criminal documentaries <laughs> about people getting killed and airplanes <laughs> falling from the sky. Uh, the other day, uh, I was looking at a video about the history of the lobotomy. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> I am not surprised. Seems like an Emily. Just before bed as well. Yeah, I did it before uh, eating tacos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the appropriate thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you watched History Channel too, huh? Yes. <gasps> oh, oh, oh and and <laughs> We're jogging now. Oh god, he we're jogging now. He loves you so much. <laughs> he does. He's just sweating <laughs> eggplants. <laughs> I like over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this effortlessly? I'm mm. dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. <laughs> hey, 
Remember when my fish died in college? Do you think I'm this weak because I chose this kind of body? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because if I was as fit as him, he was, then I yeah. would I still be dying right now? I mean, you can still be buff and have like the worst. Uh, what's it called? Stamina. Yeah, stamina. Yeah. Yeah. True. Oh, did you read this? Yeah, I have already I was, read this. I, I wasn't even paying attention. You were just thinking about his body. <laughs> and your body. <laughs> Can you blame me? <laughs> uh, no, I don't like this story. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, is it really bumping up to speed again? I guess I better do it too. No, don't do it! Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I uh, try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. <laughs> So you run up to me, post cake stand, <laughs> with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. <laughs> what is this story? Yeah. <laughs> so we're running out of a frat party with a fish trying to give its <laughs> mouth to mouth resuscitation. <laughs> and we get him home, get him in a bowl of water, but the pro prognosis was grim. Oh. Oh, they killed the fish. And the next day, he's uh, alive and well. Hey. Oh. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grant, Grand Ridge. You. And they never uh, will. Oh, no. I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Oh, no. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm fantastic. And the whole gym is looking at you? Yeah. I've managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh. Mm. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Nice. You sure? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Well, here I brought you this. Oh. Greg hands me a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. I Ugh. share it. I stare at it with my what must be apparent distaste. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. <laughs> wow, this is really good. Mm. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if the treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. <laughs> Good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this everything. I'll see you around. Oh, oh weren't we gonna go have brunch? No way! Bro brunch! He didn't say anything about the bro brunch! Oh, but I want bro brunch! No, you can't have a bro brunch. I'm leaving. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me, literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. <laughs> I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. You're so old, then. I know. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> Shoot, it's 3.55? I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes! Oh no. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant and run out of the door. Oh no. Did you just go to the gym, fall asleep and sleep for like six hours? Yeah, maybe. But I was out drinking last night. Oh, true. And you almost banged Robert. Dude, don't remind me. <laughs> Now he's sad at home. Oh, I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see what I, that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? 
Mm. I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? Oh. oh, wow. The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. <sighs> this looks on, like... Kid. Yeah? <laughs> this looks like my kind of classmates I had when I was in school. Oh, look, he has even has probably 666 on his wrist. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mm. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega? I don't know. Have you tried the exit? <laughs> okay, wise guy. Are you gonna help me or not? <sighs> Fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. Oh. I get back to where the low rent Gerard Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. And suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh my god, he's hot. Oh, it's me. Who, who, what does he sound like? Oh. Oh, Lucia. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a third period to get to? Ugh, fine, Mr. Vega. Hmm. Wow! Oh. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Hmm. Oh no. You must be M. Um, this period is almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm. Mr. Vega leads me in and take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. Oh. Alright. Where were we? Now can... Who can tell me about the unreliability of narrator in JD Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Oh. Yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Oh, oh wow. The whole class erupts in laughter. Hmm. All right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Oh. Now, Holden Caulfield is a is an unreliable narrator in that sense. In the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Oh, they're sweet running. Manchega. Oh, sweet Manchega! <laughs> Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbooks. Nobody's listening. Ah. Or not, I guess. Mr. Ah. Vega turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Both, you know. Budget cuts. Right. Oh. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Oh. Please, call me Hugo. <sighs> I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings. But as I am sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. Didn't we just move here? Uh, yeah. Or is it like still her old school? I, I don't, I don't know. What's going on? I don't know. Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. Oh. I'd normally shulk it up to Senorite. Senorite. Senorite! <laughs> but. This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Uh. I just wanted to ask is everything okay at home? Uh. We just moved, she's fine, she has a tendency to bother things up. We just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Mm. Ah. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she val values you a great deal, and would appreciate your guidance if she keeps heading down this road. I don't know. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on a scholarship money uh, that she clearly deserves. 
I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. Hugo. Anytime. On my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo? Hmm. Yes. They ever catch that rye? Oh my god. Uh, oh. Ah! Oh my god, yes. he loves puns. Yeah. I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's mm. always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Oh. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. And maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Hmm. So what, do you not work? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> you don't have a job. Maybe you're just a millionaire. Maybe we got like a bunch of money when yeah. our, the dad died. Yeah. Probably. Uh, but I you know what? Yeah. What? Now we can end. Oh. For today, because okay. now we're out of school. And I wanna date dads. And you wanna date more dads. Yes. Okay, that's it for today. Okay, 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 okay. No more dads for today. Okay, no more dads. No more dads. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. To tomorrow? To tomorrow? next time we see more cool dads. Let's meet date. more cool dads next time, please. Yeah. We will. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.